What is up, everybody? So I am very excited today. Um, I just had an upload this morning, but have to do another one tonight because a lot of new stuff in the game. We have the new Record Buster. We have the new Heroic Trials. We have the new event. We have new stuff in the shop. We have new weapons. We have this new uh, chocolate thing over here at the side. Like, we've got a bunch of stuff. All right, and on top of that, we get 2,140,000 Iris for free. All right, which... 214 Valentine's Day. That's lit. But that's a lot of Valis. Like that's that's a pretty big pretty big uh, bonus right there and that is amazing. So very excited about that. I'm just going to grab that real quick. I'm very excited about that. All right. So um where should I start actually? Let's just go with uh let's go with the sh uh, well the blacksmith. Well, we got the blacksmith. We got uh, reuse physical weapon, and we finally got Makoto's character specific weapons. Uh, so very excited about that uh, for sure. And we got Makoto's, I guess, because we got her free unit, uh, and we will take a look at a look at that. She is the free unit on the event, uh, and very excited. I don't know what she does yet, but she looks amazing. So I actually, she's one of my favorite looking characters on these banners, and it makes me so happy because she's free. Uh, that is not what I meant to do. I meant to go to the shop. Why are you being so slow? There we go. All right, so to the shop. It wasn't being the slow a minute ago. All right, shop. Let's go to the item shop. So we have the romantic chocolate set. This is just like they have been being um, one event uh, guaranteed 11 draw, one just random guaranteed 11 draw, and then uh, 50 of each fallen of 50 auxiliary books. So, you know, just the basic, what they have been doing, 600 iris. I wish it was less than 600 iris, but, I mean, I understand, uh, I guess – that, you know, two 11 draw guaranteed four star tickets. I will be probably getting this, the obligation chocolate, uh, my month, uh, reset today. So I did buy the, uh, pack and I have a hundred paid iris. So I'll probably be doing that and just throwing it in the summon video, uh, at the start of next month. So, uh, but yeah, I definitely would recommend that. I always recommend the hundred iris. Ones. So I always recommend the hundred iris ones. Uh, but yeah, so next, I'm just going to jump into the quest. I'm going to check out uh, the, event, the event and the new uh, Heroic Trials. And the Heroic Trials are special because, you know, event Heroic Trials, we've never seen an assist on them, I don't think. They, they just, correct me if I'm wrong, but they're always just adventures. And that is amazing because Hestia is the assist on this one. And then I believe in a week we will be getting the Heroic Trial for... Um, Ryu and Aina, and that's going to be amazing, just because we can have the adventures or the assists, uh, I, I think it's going to be fantastic, so anyway, you know, this is the new Heroic Trial, I'll be making a guide on that, because I, I'm going to, I know I've started doing that, and I'm going to continue to do that, so I'll be making a guide on that, uh, you know, within the next few days, so you guys can check that out. Uh, the new event, this is a regular tale, so we're going to be uh, able to grab hero medals and flame amulets, uh, as well as gnome tickets. And then we have these affection fauna, uh, which I'll kind of show you guys what those do. They're for the uh, new event. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what they do, but I know you can like feed them to characters to raise their affection level. So we'll see what that does eventually. Uh, but yeah, and then just the normal shop from there. Uh, I'll go ahead and check that out over here, though. There we go. Uh, get chocolate over here. And, you know, I have one <laughs> one affection following because you get one for logging in. Uh, and I'll just feed it to Hestia here because she is bestia. And see see what it does. So it raised her 5%. So I guess you're going to need uh, 20 of these to max if, you know, it's a consistent 5% per. So I'll, pro I'll be trying to max all of them, uh, uh, which is possible because you can get an infinite amount uh, from grinding the event. So I'll definitely... Uh, Definitely try to do that. I recommend trying to do that. I'm not 100% sure what they uh, what it does, what it's for. I haven't checked it out yet, but I'll let you guys know when I figure it out. Okay, so I'm just going to go into the gotcha, and I'm going to review these units because that's what I'm doing in this video. Uh, so on this banner, we have Eyes and uh, Hestia. Very excited. I love all of these units. They all look amazing. Like, I love the color schemes. I love Eyes' shirt, like how it's like a teal. Um, 
I, I couldn't I can't put my finger on what I like about Hestia's shirt, but I, I like there's something I like about it. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna review these. Let's let's go check these out. I'm actually excited to see what these do. All I know so far is that um, Ryu is a physical, and you know we did get her physical uh, weapon, so that's pretty, uh, you know, pretty obvious, pretty apparent. All right, so let's check these bad boys out. We have we have eyes. Um, Ryu's probably my favorite art on the banners. I'm really excited about Ryu. I really want Ryu. Uh, so I hope she's good. I hope she's good. Alright, so Eyes is a magic attack type with a uh, magic 1378 and agility 741. So not bad in agility and uh, you know pretty good in magic uh, as well. Alright, so it's her um, special arts is a single target ultralight magic attack temporary magic boost, just basic uh, first effect, foe light, uh, high light magic attack, temporary magic boost, and removes magic buffs except assist skills. Um, so, it's for a very record buster. I'm assuming uh, it, re it removes your opponent's magic buffs and, uh, you know, has the temporary magic boost. That's pretty cool. It removes the, the buffs. Um, second skill, high light magic attack with temporary magic boost and allies light attack damage plus 20% for four turns. So, uh, yeah, it has a, uh, allies. So allies light attack damage. So it boosts your allies. It's kind of like the, uh, uh, Chloe that we just saw, uh, boosted, um, earth damage, just boosts light damage. And then the third skill is single target, low light magic attack and self magic plus 75% for four turns. So herself is going to be getting a 75% magic buff, a 20% light attack damage buff, and then just is going to be removing assist skills. So I think she's actually pretty good. She's going to increase survivability quite a bit on uh, Reveria. And right now, the current record buster going on is a dark Reveria. So this is going to be really good, um, especially MLB, because it is a light, you know, uh, and Reveria is weak to, to light this time. So this is going to be pretty good. Um, next is Ryu over here. Ryu is... Um, uh, well, let's check out her stats. I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, her agility is insane. All right, her agility is 872. I'm not sure what Levi's agility was. We'll have to look at that at the end of the video. But this might outclass Levi, and I think Levi was the, uh, the uh, fastest character in the game, uh, if I'm not mistaken. If he hadn't been outpaced yet, uh, he I feel like he has now. Anyway, uh, her special arts is a AOE Ultra Earth Physical Attack with Temporary Strength Boost. Um, her, so, just basic. They're doing basic, basic, um, ultras, but basic special, special arts, and I don't, I don't know about that, like, because the last review that came out had a, a, a fast special art, and I thought that that was really cool. Um, so anyway, uh, first skill, foes mid-earth physical attack with temporary strength boost and physical earth resist minus 15% for three turns. Um, physical resist and earth resist i read that wrong i was like that sounds so weird uh all right so physical resist and earth resist minus 15 percent. so that's pretty good actually you know it if you're using a lot of earth characters that'll reduce their resist by uh um 30 percent kind of total so that's that's not bad uh and then second skill uh foes high earth physical attack with temporary strength boost and then third skill is foes high earth physical attack with temper mid earth uh, physical attack with temporary gosh dang it I, I can't like read for some reason that anyway mid earth physical attack with temporary strength boost and allies removes strength buffs except assist skills so she just removes assist, uh, strength buffs against she's literally summer eyes this literally her skill set it's summer eyes but I think she's faster I'm pretty sure that's exactly what she is and she just uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's 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 a hundred percent. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty much summer eyes. Um, except she does earth resist minus fifteen percent as well, but that's not really necessary. Uh, if you have summer eyes, don't worry about her. I guess like, eh. Uh, it is weird. It says allies remove strength buffs except assist skills, but that cannot be true. It's definitely. It definitely removes your foe's strength buffs. It does not remove your strength buffs. That would be ridiculous. No one would ever summon her. Uh, but yeah, so if you have summoner eyes, don't worry about her. I guess I guess my favorite looking character is useless to me uh, on this banner. Uh, so 
going to Hestia, she has a 550 in strength, a 380 in agility, so that's pretty good. Uh, and then at level 80, she does foes, counter rate minus 15%, allies, magic resist plus 15, magic resist. I was like, magic plus 15%? All right, so magic resist plus 15%. That's actually pretty good for uh, physical teams because that'll raise your magic resist, and we need our magic resist to be raised. <laughs> magic teams suck. Uh, so yeah, that's actually pretty good. Counter rate minus 15% and uh, magic resist plus 15%. That's actually, that's actually really good. Uh, I actually might be summoning for for a Hestia now. Was was Anna not over? The, why? I don't I don't know. So let's check out Anna now. Uh, all right. Oh, so this is what it's just the two adventures on both banners, and then depending on which assist you want, I guess is which banner you'll go for. All right. So uh, she has a f 554 in agility, so another agility based assist. Uh, 355 in dexterity, 313 in magic, 313 in strength. So yeah, just the normal like agility, I think, uh, unit. Uh, so at level 80, she does foes, light and earth resist minus 7% and allies, light and earth attack damage plus 15%. So all of your light and earth units get 15% and they lose 7% resist. So that's like a 22% kind of uh, attack increase. You know, it, it probably doesn't work exactly like that, but, you know, just for the sake of saying it, it's like 22% instead of the normal, like, 15 that we usually get. So, I mean, it's pretty good. If you're using Light and Earth, uh, you know, adventures, then that that's really good, actually. Uh, I'm not, so I will be summoning the one with Hestia if I do summon these Valentine's units. I'm not sure that I actually will, but if I do, I'll be summoning the one with Hestia over there. Uh, honestly, Hestia is the only unit that I really want. I wouldn't mind having eyes. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind having like a Ryu. I wouldn't mind having one of each, but I don't know if I'll be summoning these. I'll probably be summoning them on my Japanese account at least, and I'll probably be summoning the Hestia banner over here. So, but I do like the units overall. Like if you don't have Summarize, Summarize is a very useful character. She's still used in War Game a lot, and uh, you know if you don't have her, definitely try for Ryu. And uh, you know I do like Hestia. Like I said a lot. You know if you're running a physical team or even not running a physical team, I guess, it would still be useful. But if you're running a physical team, especially, you know, we're kind of getting beat down by magic teams. Um, and I think they're doing a little bit to try to help us out. Uh, you know, they, they gave us um, Anya in the, the previous banners, and they gave us um, Artemis. And, you know, now they gave us this Hestia assist. So I think they're trying to kind of balance out because, you know, we have a lot of physical hate. We're trying to, I think they're giving us a little bit more magic hate, so... That's good. Very excited about that, uh, for sure. Uh, I guess this has been unit review for today. Um, tell me, guys, what you think about these units. Uh, why do you think my game is being so slow? Uh, tell me how you're doing in Record Buster. I will, you know, see how I do in this Record Buster. However, uh, the last Record Buster season, I was not doing too well because I my units just suck against her. Um, I do have the new Anya though now, so I might try to, you know, put her to plus five and then do it. Uh, you know, that might help me out quite a bit. Uh, but other than that, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you, uh, this was helpful and, uh, I will see you in my video tomorrow. Peace.